Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM 1019. Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, Lair the Leviathan. Alright, we've got some more information, but let's have a nice chat with Dakava here. Let's figure ta finish, uh, finish up talking to him when we last left off and get this chapter finished up. Morgan thinks the Leviathan just needs a male to stand its ground. Well then, Shirano, learn to understand their language and find the tongue of the manatee. And then all I need to do is find her a suitor. You said there's a scientist on Flotsam who understands manatee? Yes, Santino learned it from him. Good luck getting to Flotsam, though. I shall not leave this spot until La Esponja Grande is in my hands! Hmm. It lets me speak to them? What was that about the manatee Tungus Maximus? It's a device that allows you to sing their song. Like I said, I can't remember which crew member I asked to protect it. Hmm, okay, that's enough. Alright, that's enough. Shoot yourself. Can I play with the wheel? You're right on top of Lies Fonja Grande. Decava would never let us set sail. Hmm, okay. Let's go mess with Noogie then. Break. Oh, you know what I was supposed to do? Alright, that's enough. Alright, I can't just talk to him. I gotta make I gotta recreate that face. I need to look at that face again. Um, okay, so Gomer Cross eyed Meanie, I think? Alright, let's see. If there's one thing democracy has taught me, sometimes you just need to make an example out of someone to get results. Uh. Frigid, brah. Frigid. Mm -mm. I meant to talk to Noogie. I need information. I'll never break. Okay, let's see. Arr! Arr! Uh. So, Gomer. No, uh. Geezer. Cross eyed. What? Oh, um. I think it's stinky. No, no. Yeah, okay. Not fish eyed. Yep, cross eyed. Stop! Ah! Please, no, Sister Agnes. Noogie, sorry. You had the tongue of the manatee or you get the face again. It was Moose. Moose had it. Oh, please, no more. Is this true? Sad, I can't remember, brah. It's Jimbo, his I-Core funnel. That's the tongue of the manatee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I left it back in the big guy's stomach. How could I forget? No wonder. Really? <sighs> okay. I guess I gotta go back inside the manatee. Thanks for that. Uh, where's the... Alright, let me in, big guy. What do you say to entering that cave? The one with all the carcasses of your brethren around it? Was that a yes? Alright, I'll learn to understand you and speak your language, and then we'll try this again. Um, okay, well... Right. Oh, that's right. He likes the the seahorse head. Look. Angry fellow? Okay. Well, that ingestion and digestion has tossed the tongue of the manatee into the bile pool. That's a long way down. Hmm. Let's see, the only way I'm gonna get that pool. Can I play with the bar tap? Right. Oh yeah, I can. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I haven't played bongo since my stint as a beat poet. Hmm. Thank you. 
Ah, well, that's a problem. Ah, but I bet you play, little guy. Cool. I'll take this. Got it. Oh, okay. The tongue of the manatee, travel edition. Cool. Let's get out. Oh, that's the wrong one. A salmon playing the bongos. <laughs> I've seen Stranger Things. I don't want to walk. <laughs> Walking is for the lame. All right, out. There's nothing interesting up there now. Just a whole lot of tongue. Oh, right. I can only take the service exit. I knew that. Okay. Guess we're doing this. The dab will do ya. Whoops. That was um actually I don't want to talk about it. Right. Okay, well, I've got the tongue. Travel edition. I'm gonna have to make do with the phrases that come preloaded. Here goes nothing. Best start with courtesy. Uh, okay, courtesy. Um. Well, I'm not getting anywhere until I learn to understand his language. Well, that is a problem. Um. Did I look into what? Wait a minute. So this wrench was in the in the chest, right? <sighs> Darn. It's empty. Oh, you know what? I remember. There was a lot more to this episode than I the, to this chapter that I um kind of forgot about. So, the locket's available. Um, I think that I need to... Now the arrow points the opposite way. This should be interesting. Or fraught with peril. Yeah, so if I do this... Aww, you look so peaceful. I just had the most magnificent daydream. I was back in my beloved's home. Her smell still plays on my nose. Mm, perfumes of potpourri, the brine of shrunken heads, the balm of broken souls. Right, okay, so. I just need to take this picture of myself and place it here. Yep, here we go. And then... Drone is plush, comfortable, ergonomic. No wonder she never stands up when I arrive. Ah, Upsy daisy. And she's stuck in it. <laughs> she can't get up, but I need to talk to the Marquis de Singe. Well, I've got some cards in front of me. All right, so this is actually kind of funny. So I could get some interesting results with these depending on where I place them. Um, so I think. Uh, let's see. It has the picture of a fractured scientist on it. So that's to singe. 
I should probably put these cards on the mat in front of me. Right, so, um... So there's actor, action, and target. So, let's see. So if I take, um... A spot for a tarot card. R right, I know. It shows a woman conjuring a curse. Yep. It's a picture of an incredibly handsome adventurer on his way somewhere. Okay, so the so this this is gonna be fun. I I'm gonna pl I gotta play with this a bunch just so I can show you guys what can happen. Um, so fracture. So I want him to be the target, and I want uh, yep, the curse. So let's see. So the journey curses. The uh, the fracture. Hex me now. I wonder what this does. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, what a terrible wedgie! I wonder what could have caused this. <laughs> All right, that's just funny. Um, so clearly that wasn't it. Um. So, the journey fractures the curse. Oh. That was like massive instantaneous liposuction. Not that I've ever done that sort of thing. Okay, that just sends me back out here, which obviously is not what I want. So that's how I get out. And I know what the answer is, I just kind of want to play with these. Alright, so that's the combination to get me out. So, um... So, let's see. The curse journeys to... The fracture. I like otters. They are so cute, but potentially ferocious. They are the wolves in ships closing of the sea. Hmm. Perhaps I could develop genetically flambéed attack otters. Ah. <laughs> and then there's also uh, the fracture curses the tar uh, the journey. so bad <laughs> and I can keep doing that too I think you, Gaibrush, yep that wasn't so bad yeah well you know what the singe um here you take that All right. Okay, I've had my fun. Okay, so what I really need to do is have Desinge take a journey to the curse. So, Desin so Fracture takes a journey to the curse. Come on in. Um, enter my mystical lair of voodoo. Bonjour, mademoiselle. I have traveled here to... Uh... Not anymore. I can't quite remember. Uh, let's see. You re uh, you missed my musk? You missed my musk? Quoi? No. Are you feeling all right? You seem, how you say, bizarre. Uh, I feel great. Um. I feel great. Why? Never better. Uh, that is nice. <laughs> I will be going now. Wait. While you're here, I want to ask you something. Uh, let's see. I understand you speak the I language of manatees. You speak the language of giant manatees, and I'm not referring to your silly accent. How do you know of this? Yes, I have a book that can teach one the language of these majestic creatures. Uh, okay. Excellent. Excellent. Run back and fetch it. Run back to your freaky laboratory and fetch it for me. 
I feel no need to give it to you. Mm, you will just tarnish it with your mumbo jumbo voodoo nonsense. You have no respect for the sciences. Um, okay. Bring me the book or I'll hex you. Marquee, bring me the book of the manatee language or I'll give you an education on voodoo from the business end of a curse. <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> this, this is the sound of my laughter. <laughs> there will be no curse because I am not believing in it. <laughs> With that, I must go. You don't believe in a curse, huh? Okay, well, let's fix that. Be cursed. Oh, 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 that is the worst wedgie I have ever known. Heavens to hippos, I can practically taste my underpants. <laughs> no, it is impossible. She could not have done this to me. Hmm. Perhaps I will bring her this silly textbook, just in case. Whoever could it be? It's open! I have brought you the language textbook you have requested. My motivations for this act are meaningless. Take it. Oh, for me? Thanks, Mark. Put it there on the table. <laughs> now scram! Hmm. Okay, let's read. The enchanting language of the giant sea cow in 12 easy steps. Twelve easy steps later. Wow. Who knew manatees had such an impressive vocabulary? Okay, now to free myself from this chair. Um... No. The curse fractures the target. Alright. Now we've got what we need. Time to help out the manatees. Hey there, big guy. Here goes nothing. Best snark, good courtesy. Courtesy? Hello, I'm pleased to meet you. <laughs> My name's not Plankton. May I help you? That's a great idea. Like me to die the ocean with the depths of your blood. Um, money and customs getting around. Uh, da, 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 da. Huh. I have nothing to declare. Um, emergencies. Is that blood or ketchup? Is that where I want to start? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I, I guess so. Oh, funny guy, huh? We'll see about that. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, I could have said something else. Um, let's see. Uh, not gonna let you buy. Let's see. So... Oh, whoops. Not where I want to be. Uh... Wait. Oh, I am reading this wrong. Wait a minute. Uh... Where's... Oh, right here. How much is it? More than you can afford. Right, should I give you the time of day? Uh, because... <laughs> because I lost my watch. She's like three times your size, bro. Well, good for them, I guess. Time to get the sponge. There it is, the legendary Esponja Grande. I've crossed seas, survived an island siege, forded countless enemies, seven will give or take, traveled the entrails of a manatee, and courted marine life all for this one moment. Huh. I thought it would be bigger. I have been cured of the pox. Oh, I got it! We finally got it! We really hoodwinked old Coronado, eh? Now, oh, you idiot. Knew it! Huh? No, Dacaba, it's not like that. You are a backstabbing sponge and woman stealer! This is the end of the line! Really? Hear me out! The guy. I thought you swore you'd never serve another tyrant. In light of recent events, I've had a philosophical breakthrough. But what about Moose and Noogie? Where's... Ah, uh, brother. This is why you always have a plan B. Welp. So what's plan B? Very funny. Ooh, this must be petrified wood. For being homemade by a lunatic, these cages are surprisingly sturdy. Hmm. Okay, well. How do we get out of here? No idea. This is your kind of thing, isn't it? Can you reach the rope holding your cage? No, I can't get through the top. Hmm, can you reach the one holding mine? Can you reach the rope holding my cage? Too far away. All right, I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. Better do it fast. Dakava's getting away. Hmm. It reads: Visit the sacred giant manatee mating grounds, home to La Esponja Grande, 200 fathoms. No littering. If I could just reach that rope. Oh, hello. <laughs> How about now? Can you reach the rope holding your cage? It's too far away. Nope. Oh, okay. Um Can you reach No, I can't get through the top. 
Hmm. Let's see. Wait a minute. Do I still have? Hold on a minute. I'll figure something out. Better do it fast. The cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heard it already. I do still have her sword. Here, take this. She's out of reach. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up. It's too far away. I'll figure something out. Better do it. Yep. Here, take this. It's your sword. Thanks. It felt like I was missing a part of me. No offense. Can you reach the rope holding your cage? Nope. It's too far away. Shoot. Oh wait. I, okay, I'm doing this out of order. I'll pick Better do it. Yeah, yeah. All right, come on, let's do this again. Okay, Morgan. Can you reach my cage? Can you reach the rope holding my cage? No, but I bet the blade of Jagoda can. Thanks. Come back with my sponge. You'll never have the sponge or my lady's love. Moose, bring me my prize. Sure thing, boss. I think Santino picked it up. What? Oh, right. Hey, they forgot the sponge. Oh, cool. Him isn't and bring her about. Yes, sir. Then empty the cannons on him, me hearties! Hey, Morgan! They forgot the sponge! <laughs> They're coming back! Do something, Guybrush! First things first. Okay, so... Let's see. If I get behind this... Well, actually... It just won't let up. Hmm. For me to shoot the cannon and for you to surrender the sponge. Uh, let's see. So, hmm. Wait, can I talk to McGillicuddy or to current to Dakava? Coronado, I can explain. Explain away when you're at the bottom of the ocean. What about the sponge? Unlike you, it floats. Give it here, and I'll spare your life. Mm. Oh, can do. Done talking to you, Wacko. Uh, okay, let's. Oh, there we go. There's no mask like a rubber tree mask. Okay. Bring up another cannon from the hole. Uh, let's see. What do I have in my inventory? Uh, I don't know what it's. I could use that's helpful. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, shoot. Another cannon, rapidamente. Okay. Uh This is my only way to uh, communicate with giant man. Ah, uh, darn it. Keep it safe. No. Blast. Oh, wait a minute, right, I'm... See, I'm getting this all wrong. Another cannon. Rapidamente. Hey, manatees. I can't throw it all the way there. Don't... Oh, my gosh. Oh, you know what? I'm... <laughs> I know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, little buddy. He's resorted to hurling detritus, sir. Hope you're still hungry, fella.
Bye. That seahorse head in my pants the entire time I was underwater probably wasn't the safest course of action. Well played, Threefwood. And I didn't even have to run anyone through. Yeah, you let a manatee do your dirty work for you. Hey, look at that. Are they holding hands? Flippers, but yeah. nature tells them to, I imagine. That's nice. Duh. <laughs> yes, it is. And she was paid quadruple. Alright. It's kind of a sad end way to end this chapter, but that's it. Next, uh... To be continued in trial and execution of Guybrush Threepwood. the staff. Eric Parsons, all dressed up and no place to go. Grossman, that guy again? Animation? I need no animation. I live! How many numbskulls does it take to make one of these anyway? Joe Pitty, the man who taught me everything I know. Everything I know about evil. <laughs> uh, the testers, sitting in a dark room with lava lamps, and they think it's heaven. Sound? I don't want to hear it. Amy, are you really a lumberjack, or do you just like the plaid shirts? Marketing? <laughs> I sell myself. Jake, go talk to somebody who cares. Testers, all that pizza and no idea what kind of meat it was. Whoa, that's a filthy lie. This is my own voice. <laughs> Kevin Bruner, he's been around forever. Go away, old man. Randy Tudor, I will end you. These people had something to do with it. Boring. Raise the burning face of hell. <laughs> I alone rule the interface. I have taken control, and none shall. <laughs> See ya, Murray. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode. As always, I thank you so much for watching, everybody. Oh, and credit scene. Mm -hmm. ah, feeling right as rain now, Captain. As refreshed as my days as a cabana boy in Borneo. <laughs> Captain? Oh dear. 
All right, that's going to do it. Thank you, everybody, for watching this chapter of uh, Tales of Monkey Island. Three chapters down, two more to go. Might be another game in between before we get to the next chapter, but we'll see how things go. But in the meantime, make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun, and check me out at twitch.tv slash chaoscontrolchannel for more streaming fun. And until our next game, I've been CDROM 1019, you've been you, and you have been awesome. So take care. Bye-bye.